Hello, and welcome to ninth grade co-ed health and physical education classes. My name is Heather Carnes, and I have been teaching at the General McLean School District for 10 years. Of these 10 years, I spent eight years teaching middle school health and physical education. This year is my second year teaching health and PE at the high school level. Ninth grade co-ed health and physical education is a class that will meet for nine weeks and will be on a rotating schedule of health and PE. When students are in school, they will have health in the classroom and when they are at home for school, they will attend PE online. I am now gonna share my screen with you so you can follow along as I go over grading policies and topics in both health and PE. Ninth grade co-ed health and PE. In ninth grade co-ed health and PE in health class, we will focus on five topics, the body systems. This will include skeletal, muscular, circulatory, and the respiratory systems. Our main focus in ninth grade co-ed health is CPR, AED, and first aid training. My classes will be going through using the American Red Cross uh, for our certifications. The topics that we will cover through the American Red Cross units are before giving care for the adult, child, and infant, CPR training, adult, child, and infant, AED training, adult, child, and infant, and first aid training, adult, child, and infant. After this course has been completed and students have passed all sections with an 80% or higher, they will have the opportunity to receive a certification card from the American Red Cross. This certification card will cost $30. If a student cannot pass a skills test or a written test with an 80% or higher, they cannot be certified through the American Red Cross. Students can take the class and pass, but they do not have to purchase the certification card. My grading policies for ninth grade health go as follows. Students will have classwork, which is individual work, projects, which is group work. This will be done using Google Slides so students can work on projects together, but from safe distances. And lastly, tests will be given after every unit using the Schoology platform, in addition to American Red Cross skills scenario tests to show me that the students know what to do in certain situations and can complete the tasks. Students will have one week to submit work to receive full credit. After that one week, they will lose two points per day until the assignment is handed in. Now for ninth grade co-ed physical education. What we will be learning. We will be learning a variety of lifetime activities such as yoga, body weight training, and PIO, to name a few. My grading policies, class participation, and expectations for physical education are a little different this year since we are using an online platform. Students will be required to participate in 30 to 60 minutes of PE three times a week. Students will have from Monday and until Sunday at midnight to submit their PE workout packet. Every day the packet is late, students will lose two points until it is submitted. Once the weekly packet has been filled out, students will need to get a parent signature stating that the physical activities for that week were completed. The last thing I want to say is doing PE at home is a great opportunity for families to exercise together. So maybe this can be a family time activity two or three times a week. You never know what you might learn from each other when you are making your bodies healthier together. I had many students tell me last spring that they really enjoyed working out with their parents and or siblings because they learned a lot about each other and they realized they had a lot in common, making their families closer in addition to having things to talk about daily. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at heathercarnes at generalmcclayton.org or give me a call at 814-273-1033, extension 2405, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Let's have a fun and healthy 2021 school year. <laughs>